Hello and welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to continue the discussion around how functions can enhance your charts. I have a simple question for you. If you want to highlight the top three values of a chart, can you do this using large function? Let's go back to Excel and see how we can do this together. Here is the final result that I want to achieve. If you look on the left hand side, I have a very simple table containing some products, some fruits, and its sales value. I draw them on a chart and you can notice that only the top three values highlighted in red. Down here I have some random values. If I take a copy of these values and just paste it over the original sales values, you will see that the chart updated with the top three values also highlighted in red. Let's go directly and see how we can do this together. I'm going to start by just drawing the chart itself. In order to do so, I'm going to select the columns containing the data, both the column containing the labels and also the column containing the sales values. The easiest way is to use the keyboard shortcut Alt F1 and here you go, it will draw a column chart. This is the default. When you use the shortcut Alt F1, it will draw a column chart. Let me do some quick formatting. I'm going to select the grid lines and delete and also the Y axis and delete. I'm going to use the green plus in order to add data labels. And also I'm going to select the columns itself and go to home in order to change the color into the light gray. Next is to identify the top three values of the list of the sales values. In order to do so, I already added a column called top three. I'm going to use the large function in order to identify these values. You know that if you use the max value, it will give you the highest value. But if you want the second highest value or the third highest value, you have to use the large function. In order to do so, I'm going to start from the first cell inside this column, type equal and then large. I'm going to follow the screen tip. First requirement is array. Array will be for sure the entire column of the sales values, the values only in this column without the header for sure. And then I'm going to push the F4 key in order to convert this reference into absolute reference because I'm planning to copy this formula down. Then I'm going to add comma and see the second requirement. Second requirement will be the K. K in this case will be the number that can help you to identify if you want the second highest or the third highest and so on and so forth. In our case, we need to identify the third highest. So I'm going to type three and then close the bracket and hit enter. And here you go. You have 9422, which is basically the sales value of Guafa. If I send this formula down, it will type the same number everywhere. But this is not exactly what I want. What I want to hear is to have all the cells empty except for the cell corresponding to Goafa, meaning that I need only this cell to have value in this column. In order to do so, I'm going to use the if function. I'm going back to the first cell and I'm going to go to the formula bar before the large function. I'm going to use if. And if requiring a logical test, I'm going to compare the outcome of the large function all together with the value with the correspondent cell in the sales value column. So I'm going to type equal and then select C5 and then comma. If the value true, please give me the C5 itself and then comma value if false will be an empty cell. In order to add an empty cell, I'm going to use double quote, double quote without any spaces or anything between the double quotes. And then I'm going to close the bracket for a function and hit enter and let me send it down. You will find that I have all the cells empty except the one corresponding to the third highest value. But in my case, I need the top three, not only the third highest. So I'm going to change the condition of the if function. I'm going back to the top cell and I'm going to change the equal to less than or equal and then hit enter and let me send it down. And here you go. I have the top three values. 9803 is the highest value and then 9626 the second highest and then 9422 the third highest. Finally, I need to add the new column inside the chart. If I just select the chart, you will see that the two columns highlighted. If you look at the sales column, the data column, you can just drag it to include the top three column. And if you check your chart now, 
you will see that you have additional three columns parallel to the highest three columns inside this chart but this is not exactly what i want i want the new columns to replace the original columns i need the orange column to replace the gray column in each and every point of data here in order to do so i can just select this orange columns right click and format data series on the right hand side i can just bring the format data series pane if you check this tab which is basically the series option you will see that you have series overlap it is set at minus 27 if you bring this to 100 i can just do it by just sliding this bar you'll find that the two columns 100 percent overlapping and the gray column is just hidden behind the orange column as you can see here i can do again some changes in the formatting i can just decrease the gap width in order to have thicker columns i can go to the fill and line tab and change the color into red and you are good to go let me try to change the values i have the random values here Control c to copy and then alt hvv to paste values and you can see that the chart is changing dynamically that was all for today if you like this video please like it leave me a comment and subscribe you will find some useful links here please check them out thank you very much for your time see you next video and bye